Well, I need a new laptop. That's how I think I'm gonna start this video off. This thing has been fighting me all night. We're trying to get it updated so I can get videos out. You're supposed to have a video up today, yesterday for you guys. And um, yeah, it's annoying. So we're doing our pre-trip now. I'm gonna go, we're trying to get two loads booked right now. One from the western side of Florida to the eastern side. And then we're taking a load up to Minnesota from the eastern side. And it's just kind of obnoxious where brokers, I don't know, brokers need to be done away with, honestly. Like they're not, most of these guys don't even help. Can't stand it, can't stand it. But we are gonna keep busy. I'm gonna go fill the fuel tank up. We are across from an EFS. That means I can get diesel for 287, which is great. I'm gonna go use my EFS card for that, but I'm gonna get all the blankets and stuff put away. Hate getting up this late, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, let's get to work. All right, so I'm gonna go over to the TA and get some fuel over there, and then we're gonna head out. I don't know exactly where we're going. I thought we were picking up in Clearwater. I called the guy, he said he'll call me back, and nothing. So, this broker is useless. No, does, doesn't care, hasn't been helpful. Lying to us since yesterday. This is the stuff that gives these brokers a bad name. So, you know what, we're just, I might not even take the load. I might just go pick up the other one going to Minnesota. It would have been nice to have an extra $400, but you know what, we don't need it, whatever. I think he's gonna hit the fuel island. I'll do it, I need to get fuel today. Damn, he close. Be close. I'm getting sick of these drivers just sitting here not getting fuel. I don't know half of you guys are too. Good God, no reason for it. Look, this guy's got tinted windows. I want tinted windows. Well, they weren't kidding about the flash rain. I'll take it though. This is way nicer than the heat. All right, another day. We're just waiting on this guy to show up. We are here. And yeah, we're gonna be picking up a trailer today to go on the trailer, just waiting on him. And then we are shooting up to Philly. I would like to find another reload if I can, but we shall see. Laptop's still broken. So they sent me to the wrong address thinking I was somebody else. And I don't understand because that's what the address was on the sheet. So that's annoying. So I gotta drive another 20 miles, go get another one, go get the same, well, go pick up what I was supposed to pick up initially and go from there. So, picking up a single axle food trailer. So. All right, so we're finally picking up. Here she is over here. Their first one, looks like it's small enough we can fit another one on it. So, not too bad. See how we can get it up on there. All right, so with the computer not working, I have not been filming very much, but we did have an alternator failure. Better yet, why don't I pick up the uh, Which I have no idea what I did with my flashlight, which is down here. So the stud on the back of the alternator actually ended up breaking off and shorting out itself. So I ended up tearing this guy apart here tore the whole alternator apart you guys can see on the housing right where it started to short out and then i used a stud with a nut on each side and now we have charging alternator so we're also using the factory regulator instead of the regulator that was inside so i did get that done we did get this thing loaded up sorry i have not been filming at all just because of the fact that the laptop doesn't work and i'm kind of upset about it so I know, and this is gonna be the last time you guys see the chains like this, so just leave that as it is. I don't need to hear any comments on it, but uh, just know that we will be, I have figured these out, but these are so tight that I don't wanna release them because I actually had help undo or redoing them. So other than that, we're driving down the road. One of the things came up, I had, to, I had to fix that, get inside of it on the side of the highway, lock everything from the inside out. I thought it was locked, but it wasn't. So besides that, I don't think we've had any other issues. I'm ready to get driving. So I'm gonna get this thing uh, locked away and then we're gonna start driving. I wanna be home tomorrow. All right, so last night I showed you guys we fixed the alternator. I've driven probably 300 miles now. And yeah, so 
I'm gonna end up replacing this. I did disconnect the battery terminals for obvious reasons. And I'm like, what am I gonna replace that with? Because I don't I don't actually have any uh, wiring on me that that's, is that thick. And then I'm like, I came back here and I'm like looking and I'm looking and I'm like, oh yeah, I have a winch. So I know this cable might be a little long for this, but I'm gonna use this cable here. And then when we get back, I'll just get the correct cable. All right, so now we have a super long cable that is thicker than the factory unit. So I'm gonna pull the alternator off and show you guys kind of what I got going on and show you exactly what I had to do last night. All right, so there's a backing plate that goes around this and then there's a tab here with a stud that comes out of it. And unfortunately that has finally, you know, corroded away and then just, it was a whole big nightmare. So what I did was I took a bolt with a nut on both sides and then that is where we put the the connector, basically the wire was sitting on that. So that actually was a lot better and we had perfect 14.6 all night, no issues. With the old setup, with that guy right there, we were getting in between 14.6 and 14.9 constantly back and forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap this wire out. Should be a quick, easy fix. So as you can see, this was all I had to make it work. This came off of my puller tool, the one that I used on the rear end back there. So basically just sandwich the connector in right there and then put the nut on the back side. It worked great. Obviously a temporary fix. I am gonna get a new alternator. This one is under, this should be under warranty. So I'm gonna go get the new one and then basically you know, redo all of it so that it's done correctly because this is just, this is just to get me home. I don't technically need an alternator to get home, but at the same time, I would like to have all the other amenities and, you know, radio and headlights and whatnot. So let's, let's get this done. All right, so there she is. I tucked all the wiring nice and neatly in here. Everything's back together. Like I said, this is temporary as shit. I do need to go, I'm gonna go get new wiring because I want it to look right. Go get a new bolt, nut and a bolt. And if it's under warranty, we'll get a new alternator, but not really hard pressed for it. It really doesn't matter if I replace the alternator or not. So besides that, I was worried. I was thinking that the uh, the internal regulator on the, on the ECU went out. And I come over here, the first thing I checked was this wire and I realized it was loose because it was really tight on here from there to there. Like there was almost no wiggle room. So I'm like, I, I feel like that's what broke first and sure as shit it was. So not a big deal, we got this. So sorry about not being able to post. Uh, by the time you see this, I'll already have a laptop, but I am working on getting a new laptop. Now, I do want to mention that uh, about that $2,000 challenge is that uh, it's kind of a fail. I'm not gonna lie. It, uh, throw that in the bed. Definitely ran out of that money uh, very easily. And basically we're pretty much out in that account. Uh, obviously it's, it's gonna keep going back up. I'm just not gonna document it like I am, but we were able to get the account down into the negative mark and then now we're coming back up. I think, uh, Oh, we should have another $2,200 coming next week and then a few other things, but we also got to buy a laptop. So I actually have to take money out of my other account to put back in. So I'm just going to start off again with another $2,000. Only this time, like I said, I'm not going to be documenting it. So here's what it is. Not a big deal. It's like I said, I'm still learning the market with the two car. Um, the rates are really shitty. I'm not uh, really not setting up the loads correctly. Uh, I didn't know how big this guy was going to be. Otherwise, I would have another one behind it. The plan was to bring two up. I had another thousand dollars that was going to come up with it. And unfortunately, no brokers want to answer on 4th of July weekend. So we're only coming up with 1500 bucks as opposed to 2500, which really sucks. But next week, I think we're going to start hitting it hard. And then I think we're going to be done basically talking about the financials at this point, because that's mainly the thing that most people care about is the financials. And even though it was a neat idea, I think to do the $2,000 challenge, because nobody else was really doing it at the same time, it's like, I'm kind of just tired of talking about money at this point. 
Um, obviously, bills are paid, family's taken care of and whatnot, but that seems to be most of the guys ask about the money and then never get into it. So I don't really feel like I'm helping anybody by just talking about the money, okay? Obviously, it makes really good money when done right with power only. I would have another $8,000 in the account right now and can't even lie to you about that. Like That's how much extra money I would have in these three weeks as opposed to going down. I know the market, I know how to make money doing power only and that's just, that's what I was good at. So trying to branch out and learn new things is definitely going to, you know, it's, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to do it perfectly the first time, but again, we're just not gonna talk about the financials anymore just because of the people that only care about the financials, which I know there's other people out there, it's not just those people, but there are people that only care about the, that only care about the financials and I'm not helping anybody, but they, it, they, they're only here to, see the money and that's about it and they're just dreamers so our goal is to be able to help as much people as possible put out as much correct information as possible get ideas from you guys who are also doing it and getting it correctly and that's the end goal is to help as many people as possible so we'll talk about the other things that actually matter uh, how to do it right you know safety and all that but as for that that's basically gonna end it there so I got another six hours home. I really hate this igloo cooler because that's all water and I just filled this with ice literally yesterday. This was all ice. Now it's not. Now it's not ice. It was water this morning. That's how bad it is. So not right now, but in a couple videos or so, I'm gonna ask you guys to give me suggestions on which cooler. I know a lot of you have but I just haven't really had time to really like pay attention and record them uh, and actually like save those suggestions. Uh, God, I hate setting this up every time I pull the batteries. All right guys, we are back where we need to be. 14.5, 14.4, something like that. So it'll steady itself out because I did kind of kill the battery a little bit. So other than that, it is hot. Can't wait to get home and fix the AC. I will admit I just started the truck with the, with the, uh, the wrench still on the belt with tension still on it so I didn't even have the serpentine belt on when I started it so that was a whoopsie all right so this thing's hot uh, I didn't need to stop but I felt like doing this anyway because I really kind of want to put coolant in it uh, and I'm gonna ask you guys if you guys could send me uh, you guys can send me a message on Facebook or Instagram uh, I'm looking for a few things and I don't feel like buying the stuff brand new. So, a couple of things. Well, the only thing I can really think of right now is, let me show you. That fitting right there, if one of you guys could uh, message me and let me know if you have one, that would be great. But I definitely need one of those. At the bare minimum. So, here we go. And, oh wait, wrong way. There we go. I gotta put cool in it. It's a little hot. Got to like 215. I had it up to 230 on the one grade, but once you put cool in it, it's fine. So I'm gonna do that quick. <laughs> 